Hi guys, it's Eric Weiss with a new lock picking video. The lock I have today is a very special one. It's the Robur Disk Detainer Safe Deposit Box Lock. And um, yeah, it's a, a very small lock uh, compared to a standard Euro cylinder. It is uh, really small, um, but nonetheless, um, it is quite difficult to pick. It has eight discs and um, it cannot be picked with standard disk detainer tools. Uh, but the good thing is um, that you can simply use a flag pick uh, and a standard tensioner uh, to approach this one. And um, moreover, I made uh, some tools for the training process. So I made uh, this cutaway where you can see um, how far the discs have to, have to be rotated. Um, and on the other side, you see uh, how the groove for the sidebar aligns, if everything is set correctly and how the slide bar uh, the sidebar slides in. Uh, so this is very uh, handy from, uh, for getting a feeling uh, what happens inside this lock when you pick it. And another thing I made is uh, this little tool, uh, which is for uh, applying the marks for the disc positions to the pick, uh, which is also uh, quite helpful because um, it is uh, very important um, to be very precise when picking because everything more or less um, happens within one centimeter. So this tool is, makes it easy uh, to mark the eight discs on the pick. And the result looks like that, which is really helpful for picking. But now, without further ado, let's put this thing in the vice and see if we can get it picked. All right, the little robot is now on the vise. Here's the key. Works just fine. And for tensioning, I use the standard tensioner that I apply on the top. And for picking, I use this Multipro G Pro number 12 with the markings for the disc positions. And I know that number five is usually the, the disc that binds first. So I start with this one. Then number six and seven. And number one. Number three, number four, let's check them again. <clears throat> feels good, two feels good, three feels good, four feels all right, five maybe, a bit more, six, seven, Eight. It's not to be said very much. So, where yeah, feels quite okay so far, but still not open. So, let's try to jiggle a bit. Sometimes it can be open this way because if the discs are almost set, then they jiggle in the correct position. And also, if something is overset, it can be set back a bit like that. And there we go, it's open. Now, let's take it out and see what's inside. Mm 
<clears throat> the good thing is that uh, this one can be gutted quite easily. Let's take it out of that holder and let's close it up again. All right. And there's only this uh, clip that needs to be removed. Like this. And let's take a pinning tray and see what's inside. Everything slides out as one. It's also very nice for gutting. And here's the sidebar, dropped out already. And this is the housing with the groove for the sidebar here. And let's put that aside. And yeah, what's interesting about this uh, this one is uh, let's let's have a look what happens if the key ins is inserted. The discs uh, turn and become al uh, become aligned on the other side so that the sidebar can slide in and the cork can rotate. And if the key is turned back, the sidebar slides out again and the lock is closed up again. So that's the normal operation of the disk detainer locks. And yeah, what's interesting about this one is also um, this middle piece that has a fence around it so that there's only very little room for the pick. If the key is inserted, then it looks like that. And the complete assembly then rotates the discs. And if a pick is inserted, then uh, you see that uh, you can only operate through that little groove here. And there's really not much uh, space to manipulate the discs. So you don't you can't uh, rotate the discs at once if they need uh, much rotation, but you have to do it several times. All right, but let's have a look at the individual discs now. Some dropped out already. Let's take the tweezers here. Oops, this it starts with the spacer, and these spacers are all the same. Um, no. This is the first disc. As you can see, it has uh, two false gates and one true gate. And uh, everything apart of these gates is uh, similar for all the, uh, the discs. Um, but the gates are, uh, are oriented differently for the different rotations that are possible. So let's take them all out. So these are all the discs. It ends with another spacer and two additional discs that uh, more or less control um, the rotation of the middle piece. There are two, but they look similar. Oops. And this is uh, the housing of the core. It's made of plastic and it's simple but efficient. Right, let's have a close-up of the discs. And that's about all for the Robur Safe Deposit Box uh, Disc Detainer Lock. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.